everybody on YouTube, it's me, Jen, coming at you on my downtime. I hope you're all having a great day. Um, it's technically the day after Thanksgiving, and um, yeah, I didn't want to do a vlog or even stay on uh, Facebook for very long, even though I was up around 7 o'clock uh, in the morning yesterday, and um, Mom and I were basically cleaning and all that other stuff so that we could get the table ready, start cooking. I was doing dishes and whatnot, just cleaning around the house. Um, you know, just making sure everything was prepped uh, so she could cook. I love it when she cooks. I do, I do. Oh, you have no idea. I mean, she's, she's already such an amazing cook as it is. And it's really nice to get a break from cooking every now and again, even though I do love cooking, don't get me wrong, but sometimes I just get so damn tired. It's really nice when she does it. It's like, oh, there's just, oh no, man. I'm sure everybody feels like that on, on some level. There's nothing like mom's cooking. <laughs> it's just, there's just never going to be anything like mom's cooking. So, um, that's one thing I'm definitely grateful for. Um, yeah, and uh, like we do every year, we pretty much had, uh, you know, stated everything that we're grateful for, and um, the one thing that I had to say that I was grateful for, and still am, are the challenges and the obstacles that I've been facing this entire year, and I know it doesn't sound like a, like a big deal, like it's much to anybody else, but it's a lot to me. Um, <clears throat> I have been going through a lot, so... <sighs> <laughs> you know, I'm I'm actually grateful for the challenges, though, because with every single challenge, you actually do learn at least one thing from each challenge that you face. Each op each obstacle that you face, you learn at least one thing from it. So, because of that, I'm grateful for it, and the fact that it's making me stronger. Um, it's making me a stronger person. That's a definite. So, uh, because of that, you know, I'm grateful for everything that I've been facing over the past year. I know that I have really haven't been vlogging a lot, <clears throat> but um, that's okay. That's all right, I don't mind. Uh, this is just one of those like random blah, hi. <laughs> just a random thing. It's not about anything in particular. I'm extremely tired as usual. <laughs> I'm always tired when I come up to vlog, and my hair is always a mess. Ugh, I always look kind of funky when I come up to vlog, but this is just, you know, it's my downtime. It's what I do. It's what I do. Oh yeah. How do you like me new? Do you like me just fine? Always have? Oh yeah? I hope so. <laughs> it's about quarter to three in the morning, baby. Oh yeah. Awesome. So yeah. Oh, what else is uh, going on for today? Now that it's the day after Thanksgiving, there's a lot that I have to do today that I really don't look forward to. Some of it I look forward to. Um, let's see. I look forward to going to the bank to handle some business. That's that's not too bad. Um, I'm looking forward to going to the library. I know that in my last vlog I was saying that, you know, it kind of sucked having to go to the library. That's because I had to go on a daily basis, and some things just about the environment can grate your nerves after a while because, like, it's not your environment. So because it's not, <clears throat> excuse me, it's not something that you're used to, like, after a while it, certain things start to kind of grate your nerves. Like, I don't like the fact that I can't have a cup of soda, or like a, this thing right here, uh, my tumbler of coffee right on the desk. I always have something right on the desk within arm's reach. But I was constantly told, uh, you gotta get that away from the computer because it can damage it, and I'm like, oh, okay, so, um, alright, fine, I'll put it on the floor next to the CPU, see if it doesn't damage that. <laughs> I really don't see the point, but I did it anyway. I was like, all right. Just smiled to myself. I'm like, oh my god, <laughs> that's funny. But, uh, yeah. I actually look forward to going tomorrow only because, um, <clears throat> I've noticed that I'm pretty good with, uh, 
helping people out with certain things. Like, if you're sitting next to me, and, like, you're kind of, like, at the computer and, like, saying to yourself, oh, I don't know how to do this, I don't know how to navigate this, I'm like, what are you, ha what are you having trouble navigating? <laughs> like, I'm nosy like that, I'll do shit like that, I'll just be like, what are you having trouble navigating? You know, like, you know, because I'm trying to be helpful. And I'll help the person out with whatever issue that they're having at the time. Because <clears throat> I'm generally good at stuff like that. Um, no expert, but I'm pretty good at it. And um, it's it's actually a cool thing when you do that, you know, because you're making a connection in that moment. Which is super cool. Uh, that, could, that person could be anything to you. You know what I'm saying? That person could be a friend. They could be a... Um, a business connection, they could be like a, they could be anything, you know what I mean? Which is super awesome. So I think for that reason, I really like um, the idea of going to the library every once in a while, even though everything is fixed here. Um, I like the fact that I can make connections with people face to face and not just on the internet. Um, even though the internet kind of offers, you know, a, a wider array of connections, you, know, you just have to connect. <laughs> it's it's nice to do it, you know, face to face. And I, I think, you know, I think I found like a newfound confidence doing that. You know, like the same kind of confidence that I used to have when uh, I used to work for places like Avon and Kirby. I'll show you. Watch. Check it out. Right over there. Bam. Oh, yeah. That was an award for me um, that I got with that company. Oops. There goes my freaking thing. And, you know, it's just being able to connect with people person to person, face to face, gave me that confidence again. You know, like, I don't have to be socially awkward or shy or anything like that. I could just reach out, connect to people. But I like doing it in a way that, like, I'm helping them out with something. Because it kind of puts me at, like, a, at a standpoint to where... I can connect with that person without them wondering if I have an agenda or not. Um, usually, <clears throat> you know, when you try to talk to a person out of the blue, they're going to be like, who the fuck is this psycho? You know what I'm saying? But, like, if you're in a situation to where somebody might need help with something, whatever that may be, and you happen to have the answers, you're making a social connection, but, you know, not in a quote-unquote creepy way, I don't know. I don't think trying to connect with people person to person is creepy, but a lot of people nowadays, unfortunately, are socially awkward. Um, they're either shy or they're paranoid. They think that everybody around them is up to something, and I just think that's freaking weird, and I'm, I'm trying so hard, you know, just to break through that. Not for me personally, because I have no problems with being sociable with people. I really don't. Um, but it, it's, I feel like the need to just kind of go out there and break, th break through that kind of social awkwardness that's plaguing our society right now. Um, <clears throat> you know, thanks to uh, the overtake of technology and also, um, you know, everything that's going on in the world right now uh, and whichever nation that we're living in. You know, <clears throat> there's a lot of things that are people that that are putting people at unease, and it makes communication so hard. Um, and I want to try to break through that if I can. So, I think honestly, I find that you know the best way that I could do that is by helping people. So I'm just going to do that. Um, <laughs> and I found that you know going to the library and you know troubleshooting somebody's problems actually opens up a, a gateway to communication, and I think that's great. Uh, it, it, it helps in society, especially, you know, when, you know, you're, you're genuinely trying to help that person and you don't have a set agenda about you. It makes people feel a lot more comfortable with you. So they feel like, okay, maybe not everyone in the world is out to get me, despite the fact that I've been feeling this like this for goodness knows how long. Um, I want to try to break through that, you know, in society. I want to try to just crack that open and, you know, <laughs> that would be really nice if I could do that, because um, everywhere that you go, man, you know, pe people just kind of look at you slight ways or sideways, any kind of ways that you want to put it, they, they look at you weird, 
you know, if you smile or you say hi, it's, it's strange. Either that or they think that you're hitting on them, and that's not it. You're just trying to be nice. I don't know what happened to society today, but people have gotten weird, and I'm trying so hard to break through that because that is not the society that I remember. You know what I mean? Like, I, I remember living in a community of people where everybody said hi to everybody. Everybody knew everybody. Everything was okay. You know what I mean? Like, uh, that's the kind of society I remember, to be honest. And that's the kind of society that I want. So I'm pretty much going to take the initiative of going out there and cracking that egg open and frying her up, man. Because seriously, society needs to get over all this, <clears throat> um, I don't know what to call it, all of this uh, being over over stigmatized, I don't know, over stimulated with bullshit. How's that? Yeah, people need to get over being over stimulated with bullshit <laughs> to the point where like they feel <clears throat> as if they need to hide in their shells, like they're safe there, even when they leave their homes and they're out in public. Like, honestly, th that's that's ridiculous. I just, I'll never understand it, and I'm hoping that, you know, one day that does stop, and um, that one day things do get better, and uh, lines of communication start opening between people in general. That really would be nice. I miss that. I do. I miss it a lot. Um, so, yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm grateful for challenges and obstacles, no matter what those are, um, because they teach me something, and I become stronger from them. So, yeah. Oh, I'm also proud of this. I'm sorry. I'm actually wearing it. I don't know if you guys had seen this before in one of my vlogs, but I'm pretty sure that I pointed this out and I talked a little bit about that. So yeah, that's two things that I'm very proud of in my career. Um, <laughs> here I am, all up in my brag fest, like, what, what? And that's when I was working for companies and I was, you know, doing things face to face. Um, it was nice. It was. It was very nice. You know, I, I love what I do over the internet. Don't get me wrong. I really do. I love it. I love the shit out of it. <laughs> and I always will. But there will there will be nothing to replace that that feeling that you get. Just the exchange that you get of energy. The energy exchange that you get from people when you, know, you communicate face to face. It's so nice. It's so nice to have that. Um, so yeah. That's that's very random, isn't it? I have no idea where to go from this. <laughs> I really don't, you guys. I wish I did. Um, but that's what's on my mind, actually, at this moment. What else is there? I have no idea. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. I was going down the list of what the heck I was going to do today. Yeah. Uh, handle business at the bank. Uh, go to the library. And unfortunately, I have to speak with Nelnet, which is a student loan company. I'm saying unfortunately because I'm in a little bit of trouble. Uh, and I have to talk with them to see, you know, what we could do about the situation I'm in personally. Um, so that we can work on knocking down that, that debt together. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm really glad that Nelnet takes the initiative to work with people instead of uh, act, acting like a collections company, you know, you know, they, they really do go out of their way to help out. So, um, we'll see what we can do about that. <laughs> it stresses me out to no end, um, just to know that I have a lot of debt under my feet and I walk on it every single day and I'm just like, man, <laughs> that sucks ass. <laughs> In bad English, that just sucks ass, dude. It does. It's horrible. Um, but I know I have to deal with it. I have to call them tomorrow. And um, we got to work this thing out. I know. I know. It sucks. But we have to do it. So, yeah. Not we as in you and me. Just, I meant, you know, we as in me and Nelnet. You know. I'm trying, you know, I'm trying to, to keep a positive view on the whole thing and um, realize that even though they are a financial company, um, 
they are really trying to look out for my best interest because, you know, students have a very hard time. They really do. So uh, I can only hope that they are really out for my best interest because I'm nervous as hell, dude. Um, yeah, so... Oh, fuck. All right. <laughs> what else is going on? Mm. Aquaphor. Not as good as vitamin E and aloe vera, but it is soothing. It's nice. My lips have been so dry lately. Anyway, hmm. what else is there? Uh, other than that, tomorrow I have I have a list of things that I have to get done, and like I have them in another room. So yeah, it's just a bunch of online stuff that I have to get done. Oh, yeah. By the way, yesterday I actually experienced my very, very, very first migraine headache ever in my entire life. I've never had one. Not ever. Not ever. I'm 32 years old and this is the first time yesterday that I've ever had a migraine headache in my entire life. Do you know how many years I have been using a computer? <laughs> I've been using a computer since 1999, you guys. So you would think that, you know, it would have hit me sooner, but no, not until yesterday. The very first time in my entire life. I guess I take good care of myself. I try anyway. Uh, yeah. Other than that, I really have nothing to talk about. I hope you guys are doing good. You know, I hope you're all doing well. And I hope that uh, no matter what struggles and obstacles and challenges that you're going through, that... Um, that you can figure out what's going on and uh, work it out. That you are, in fact, learning something from it and it is making you stronger. I really do hope that. I do. Because goodness knows it's done that for me. <laughs> I just have yet to work everything out. Ugh. It's enough to drive a person nuts if they let them. You know what I'm saying? If you let it drive you crazy, it's going to. <sighs> oh, yeah. <clears throat> Sorry, dealing with a little congestion here, but I'm good anyway. I'm doing all right. Not too shabby. Yeah. I don't know what else to talk about. I mean, I'm allowed to record for over 15 minutes, so for fuck's sake, I'm going to do it. <laughs> and I, have, I haven't vlogged in a long time, so this is probably why I'm doing, like, long-ass videos. And... Actually, that's what I usually do anyway when I shoot out, like, a, a random vlog about whatever the hell's on my mind. It just, it takes forever. Because I talk a lot, so deal with it. <laughs> if I had a specific topic in mind, it would be a much shorter video, but yeah. That's probably why I haven't been vlogging too often, and I'm probably not going to vlog too often, to be quite honest with you guys. Unless I'm doing like a response video or I'm just sharing what's on my mind for any given moment, any given day. Ah, oh, yes. Alright, I think that's it for now. I'm sorry. I know, I just, I keep dragging the shit out. Anywho, I hope you all had a very, very wonderful Thanksgiving with your family. I did. Uh, it went very well. It was awesome so happy about that yeah and I'm super freaking tired from all that turkey man dude I'm like <sighs> I'm about to freaking fall asleep in this chair right now I'm like tired I don't know that's all for now I'll see you guys on the next video feel free to talk with me you know I don't know if you can leave a, a video response because the uh, graphic user interface of YouTube had changed again. They changed their GUI. Ugh, you mofos. But anyway, leave your comments or whatever. Hope you guys had a good one, and uh, I'll talk to you soon, okay?